hello guys i am back we are still talking about what is going on in nigeria so i have this video from the dr yunusa tanko and then um, i seems to agree with what uh dr tanko said okay of recent um lamidia papa um inaugurated some national working committee and the same day julio zabure uh, also inaugurated national working committee in different location of course you know peter will be uh, was with Julius Abure. And then, the, um, according to Lamide Papa, that he's not going to back down. The man has determined to make sure that he kill and destroy the Labour Party. But that is by the way. So, the video I'm about to share with you from Dr. Yunusa Tanko, if not for Peter B and um, Dr. Dati, where will Lamide Papa and his faction be today? Yes. Is it because they have seen uh, with the leadership of Abure, courtesy of Peter Obi and um, Dati, uh, Labour Party has been able to produce, I think, eight senators, uh, 30-something House of Rep members. You understand? Is that the reason why these men are coming out now to claim leadership in Labour Party? Where would he have been if not for Peter Obi and Ahmed Dati? Where would the, uh, I'm a papa be today all right um let me know what you guys think because it is so so um i don't know how to put it so so upsetting to see all what is going on these guys help burn to make sure that they destroy labor party and then the reason why i like peter will be one of the reasons why i like peter will be is because he's not you know he's not moved with all what is going on and also appeal court has also affirmed uh julius abure as they um, authentic national chairman of Labour Party, but yet a papa, let me a papa is not backing down. Why? Let me allow you to listen to what Dr. Yunusa Tanko have to say. And the led uh, National Working Committee have proved themselves not guilty beyond reasonable doubt. But let me also thank the obedient uh, movement at this point, where the chairman has also thanked them that for standing firm. With the leadership of the party, giving it the belief that yes, these are the people who had midwife us from almost nothing to something. We've also said that under this particular leadership, we've had eight senators. We have 38 or 34 member House of Representatives. We are having 60 some 65 members of state assembly under the leadership of Julius Abure. That is where we are at the moment, and they are still counting. And so for any leaders who have been able to achieve this particular feat, should be given a lot of respect and, res uh, 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 and probably um, gratitude for doing the yeoman's job. So those who feel that they are aggrieved, the, the political party is still open for them to come in. And of course, the, it's a disciplined political party. So you come in and apologize for the mistakes that they've made, and then we would know how to deal with their issues according to the constitution of the party. But if they stay on the other side, remember, they only have Peter, Gregory Ubi, and Dati Baba Amen to give gratitude to, because if this particular individual have not been into the party, I wonder where they will have been. I wonder where the party will have won, whether it would have been able to win all of these particular seats that I just mentioned. So for us, it's moving forward. No retreat, no surrender. We keep on moving until we emancipate the Nigerian people from the shackle of poverty and getting Nigeria on the right path. We believe that a new Nigeria is possible under PO and Abure.